Hey everyone, hope you all doing good. In this video, I'm going to show you 5 text animations using Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere. You can use any version of Adobe Premiere. So first thing I need to do is to create a text. So the next thing I need to do is to select a razor tool. You can press C or you can directly select from here. And we need to make a couple of cut at every second at the beginning of it. You can also set it to according to your music beat if you are using any of it. And now we just keep one frame and delete another frame. And now for the third, I just keep third frame and delete the fourth frame. And like that, I just go forward right it's looking really good you can also set this effect with music beat i just add some beats in my text animation and here is the result i got after that the next text effect we are going to create is blur to simple or you can say simple to blur for that i just need to go to effects if this effects panel isn't appear here just go to windows and here you got an option of effects my sure it will be checked and i'm just search for gaussian blur and here under the blur and sharpen i got a gaussian blur just add to your text animation layer and now just go to effects control and here we have a gaussian blur right here i just need to make some of the keyframe so i just click on this stopwatch create a keyframe at the blurness of you can say 130 or 150 is really good to go so i just move it back to the very beginning and now i need to create another keyframe with the same value and just add it at the end of the layer just decrease its blurness value to zero and add it before the couple of blurness like that you can add it according to your choice or your music beat create an other keyframe with the zero value and make it little bit like that you need to create a opacity keyframe with the zero value and make it at the very beginning like that and create another keyframe and move it to the end of your adjustment layer now create an opacity keyframe again and set its value to 100 and just make it a little bit like that at the very same time or you can say and create another keyframe with 100 value and add it at the same position of end of the keyframe now here is the result we get after that if you want to make it more animated you can also add some scale for that you need to create a scale keyframe right here and adjust its value to 90 or 80 and make this keyframe at the very beginning just like that and add a keyframe set its value to 100 and move this keyframe at the end of your layer and now here is the final result we get after that So before moving further with this video, I just want to take a minute and tell you guys about Wondershare Filmora. Wondershare Filmora is one of the best software if you are a beginner or you just start up your career in video editing, then Wondershare Filmora is the best option for you. They are providing some really good features that really save your time. They are providing title, animations, transitions, effects and a lot of stock media. So you can use it inside of video editor. You don't need to go to website to download some stock videos stock images you can use it inside of wondershare filmora they are also offering music tracks so you can use it in your project inside of wondershare filmora they are offering thousands of stock media transitions titles and a music track so you can check them out link in the description below so if you are a beginner or even pro then i think so wondershare is really time saver you can try filmora for free i mentioned their download link in the description below Must check it out so the next title effect we are going to create is little bit complex but it's really good looking so here i have a text i create a two different text with the same layer right so i need to create an other horizontal line for that i just go with essential graphic and create a rectangular right here so it's not a rectangular it's actually a scale so i just make it a little bit horizontal line like that you can see it just looked like a horizontal line now here is the anchor point 
point so let me zoom a little bit here you can see here is the anchor point of this horizontal line so make sure you can change its anchor point to the mid of your horizontal line because it's really help you a lot when you are going to animate this line right so set your rectangular line to the very mid and set it like that now i am going to animate this title for that i'm just going to effects control and here i got a shape text and another text right so the first thing i need to do is to create a scale so for that i just create a keyframe of scale and change its value to around 90 and move this keyframe at the very beginning and set this scale value to 100 and now move this another keyframe to the very end of your layer let's animate this horizontal line or you can say shape and under the transform you got a uniform scale make sure it is unchecked and here we got a separate vertical scale and a horizontal scale so i just need to create a horizontal scale keyframe and change its value to zero and move it to the very beginning and change this horizontal value to 100 and make it little bit away from your start so your horizontal line is just moving up a little bit slower so i just need to make it closer right it's it's looking good to go right change this keyframe to ease in so it's looking really good now let's move to the bottom text need to do is to select this pen tool and select the bottom text like that and after that i just decrease this mask feather to zero and here under the transform i got a positioning and scale so we need to create a positioning keyframe right here and we need to hide our text like our text is just coming up from our horizontal line so i just need to move it a little bit up like that and move this keyframe to the very beginning make another keyframe and change our text positioning to the default value like that so our text is just coming up from the top to bottom like that change this keyframe to ease in so it's looking really good and now we need to animate our top text layer so i'm just go with the same way select a pen tool create a mask around our text change its feather value to zero and now change your text y-axis value so it's hide under the line like that move this keyframe to the very beginning make another keyframe and change this value to the default one here is the final result we get after that so here is the in animation you can also make out animation with the same way just create a, another keyframes and just make a out animation it's really easy to do so the next title animation we are going to create is really simple and really easy to create all you have to do is you need a text just go to effects and just search for transform and under the distort you got a transform preset just apply on your text and now just go to effects control and here you got an option of transform make sure you can check this uniform scale and now in a transform i just create a positioning keyframe so it's actually on you what you actually want you want a horizontal flash text animation or you want a vertical text animation so i just go with a vertical text animation like my text is just coming up from bottom to the mid right so i move it to the bottom like like that move this keyframe to the very beginning and now I just need to make another keyframe or you can just go with the default value or you can say a reset parameter so it's just moving up to your default value and here in a shutter angle just change is to 360 and make sure you can uncheck this use composition now here is the result we get after that So the last title animation we are going to create is typewriter so here i'm using a typewriter phone all we have to do is to just select your layer go to effects control and under the text we got a source text keyframe make a keyframe and move it to the very beginning and now select your layer in effects control and it just highlighted select your all of the text delete this and type the first letter of your text what you actually want to add now here you can see the keyframe is 
is automatically added in your effects control it's just coming up one by one so we create a one and just move forward three keyframes or five keyframes so i'm just moving forward three keyframes and after that just type another letter what you want move three keyframes forward again type another letter what you want and in the same way we type all of the letter what you actually really need to add all the keyframes are done now here is the result we get after that and here is the result i get after adding some background sound effects So yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any problem or if you have any question about this text animation. Please do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.